Hi, my name is Marvin Centrobino. I'm from Block 12 Men 01, Bachelor of Secondary Education, major in English. First reporter to the report entitled Realism of Ourself. Before that, I would like you to know the true meaning of realism. The true meaning of realism is I've been gathering this um, meaning in Google. Realism. Rather than applying filters or fantasy to your fictional world, realism is based on real, everyday life. For example, a work of realism might chronicle the life of an average farmer, rather than pan metaphors or imaginary. A realistic writer would show you the under, undramatized life dialect of the area. That's the meaning of realism. Senses are source of knowledge. Man forms universal or categories from many perception of like objects, present deductive reasoning based on experience. As methods of science and philosophy, produce books in natural science, biology, and psychology. Aristotle's metaphysics produces his view of God as the first cause and cost, pure thought, internal to nature. Ethics is concerned with individual happiness. Politics is concerned with collective happiness. As Aristotle existence. Aristotle was an ancient Greek philosopher. He was born in Circa. When he turned 17, he enrolled in Plato's Academy. In 338, he began tutoring Alexander the Great. In 335, Aristotle founded his own school, the Lyceum in Athens, where he spent most of the rest of his life studying, teaching, and writing. Aristotle died in 322 BC after he left Athens and fled to Chalcis. Realism as Aristotle believed that real reality exists independently of observers, whatever we believe now is only approximacy, approximation of reality and that every new observation brings us closer to understanding reality. A doctrine that universal exists outside the mind, especially the conception that an abstract term names an independent and unitary Reality. The doctrine that objects of sense, perception, have an existence independent of the act of perception. Theory that things exist objectively. The theory that things such as universals, moral facts, and theoretical scientific entities exist independently of people's thoughts and perceptions. Theory of objectively existing world the theory that there is an objectively existing world not dependent on our minds and that people are able to understand aspects of that world through perception today we will be talking about the first of the four clauses of aristotle aristotle's key question for nature is why why is a thing the way it is what makes it like that? Because for him, he can answer this why question in four ways or the four clauses. The material clause. In this clause, we answer the question, out of what has a thing come? For example, a statue. It might be made of bronze, marble, copper, iron, etc. By identifying the objects or the things that were used to make it, we answered the question, what is it made of? And the same goes when someone asks, why is the statue heavy? We can answer it because it is made of bronze, marble, copper, iron, etc. Another example is a table. If someone will ask, what is a table made of? The answer, it might be made of glass, wood metal, etc. Formal cause by Aristotle Philosophy of Realism It is the structure or design of a being. It is what makes it one thing rather than another. It is the form or paradigm and is the formula of the essence. 
and the parts are in the formula. Formal cause determined by definition, form, pattern, essence, whole, synthesis, or archetype. Formal cause, formal means pertaining to form. To ask why something is means to identify main factors in the process of potentiality realization. Aristotle explicates this question in a powerful way. By means of what is it? Answer obtained by an identifying efficient cause. The efficient cause is the source of the change or rest. It is the moving cause. What makes of what is made and what changes of what is changed? And last is the final cause of Aristotle. Aristotle defined the end purpose or final cause as that for the sake of which a thing is done. For example, a ball at the top of a ramp will finally come to rest at the bottom. They always presuppose the formal cause. In order to explain the goal, purpose, and end, you must use the formal cause. Aristotle's philosophy of realism. Realism. The focus is on the body or objects. Truth is objective, what can be observed. In philosophy, the viewpoint which accords to things which are known or perceived, an existence or nature which is independent of whether anyone is thinking about or perceiving them. Realists believe that reality exists independent of the human mind. The ultimate reality is the world of physical objects, and the focus is on the body or objects. Realism as a classification of utilitarianism is a family of normative ethical theories that prescribe actions that maximize happiness and well-being for all effective individuals. Although different varieties of utilitarianism admit different characterization, the basic idea behind all of them is to, in some sense, maximize utility, which often defined in terms of well-being or related concepts, for instance, Jeremy Bentham, the founder of utilitarianism, described utility as the property in any object, whereby it tends to produce benefits, advantage, pleasure, good, or happiness, and realization, or to prevent the happening of mischief, pain, evil, fictional, or imagination, or unhappiness to the parties whose interest is considered. Famous thinkers, proponents, and opponents. First of all, what is proponent? It means an advocate, someone who promotes a viewpoint. An opponent means someone who is competing against someone else in a sport, business, politics, and etc. Hans George Morgan Doe was one of leading 20th century figures in study of international politics. He made landmark contributions to international relations theory and study of international law. And his politics among nations, first published in 1948, went through publications during his lifetime. Starting with second edition of politics among nations, Magendo included a section in the opening chapter called Six Principles of Political Realism. First principle, international politics is governed by objective laws having roots in human nature. Political realism believes that objective laws that have their roots in human nature govern politics like society in general. Second principle, national interests defined in terms of power. The main signpost of political realism in international relations is the concept of interest as defined in terms of power. This concept provides the link between reason trying to understand international politics and the fact to be made understood. Third principle, 
National interest is always dynamic. Realism does not endow its key concept of interest, defined as power with a meaning fixed once for all. The idea of interest is the essence of politics and is unaffected by circumstances of time and place. Fourth principle. Abstract moral principles cannot be applied to international politics. An individual can say, let's justice be done. Even if the world perishes, but a state has no right to say in the name of those who are under its care. The motto of the state is not morality. Fifth principle, difference between the moral aspiration of a nation and the universal moral principle. Political realism refuses to identify the moral aspirations of a particular nation with its moral laws that govern the universe. And the last and sixth principle, the autonomy of international politics. Realism believes in the autonomy of the political sphere. The realist thinks interests defined in terms of power. It does not mean that the political realist is unaware of the existence and relevance of standard of thought. Other than the political, he cannot subordinate his political standard to other spheres. Realism opponents. The term idealism and idealist are by no means used only within philosophy. They are used in many everyday contexts as well. Optimists who believe that in the long run, good will prevail are often called idealists. This is not because such people are taught to be devoted to a philosophical doctrine, but because of their outlook on life generally. Indeed, they may even be pitied or perhaps envied for displaying a naive worldview and not being philosophically critical at all. The philosopher who proposes idealism is Nicholas Rescher. Howard Robinson, John McDowell, and many others. The Criticism of Theory Some academics have suggested that Aristotle was unaware of much of the current science of his own time, and that he was a far lesser mathematician than many of his learned contemporaries. Although Aristotle advised against Plato that knowledge of the world could only be obtained through experience, he frequently failed to take his own advice. Aristotle conducted projects of careful empirical investigation but drift into abstract logical reasoning, with the result of that his work was littered with conclusions that were not supported by empirical evidence. For example, his assertion that objects of different mass fall at different speeds under gravity, which was later refuted by Galileo. One of the benefits of realism is to how to we realize the things that um, exist right now in our world. The realism is dictating to us what is realistic and what is imaginary or fictional. Because realism is how we experience it true to life um, situation or action and we realize it by um, think it not an not just imagine imagine it but think it and do the same action realism is taught as uh, that realization is form of realism on how we act as a humankind. The second benefit of realism is realism is a theory that claims to explain the reality of international politics. It emphasizes the constraints on politics that result from humankind's egoistic nature and the absence of a central authority above the states.
application of the theory in the following issues. So, I've chosen three issues which are taking human life, abortion, and mercy killing. Taking human life, we are aware that crimes are rampant today. News are spreading about the killings, the murders, or issues connected to it. So, next is mercy killing. So, we in mercy killing, we talk about the life support. If the person or the patient have enough money or to pay the bills, of course, then if the chances that the person will live or not, because if if the chances are not that much, it will only prolong the suffering. So the last issue is abortion. When a woman realizes what she's going to do, it will fall more on realism because you think about the possibilities if you ever continue your pregnancy. And if you ever continue it, you have to acknowledge the complications of the reality. Yes, reality is complicated. Realism Theory Aristotle was the one who provided the fundamental structure of the development of realism, and it spread into other fields, such as the arts and politics. What exactly is realism? In philosophy, realism refers to the viewpoint that the reality of any material object exists in the external world independently of the human mind. Historically, realism is a metaphysical claim about this independent existing world. Since Aristotle's metaphysics, two kinds of questions, ontological and epistemological, are raised. What exists and how can we know what exists? To put it in another way, realism asserts that what one observes is real and exists in tangible reality. Realism is also the opposition of idealism. So to make it short, realism elucidates how people totally understand the true meaning of life and not as fictitious or untrue. It's a real action situation in our lives. Realism is not an imagination because we can see it through experience and actions. Realism also explicates that everything we see is real. Five questions to reflect on the theory. Number one. Does Aristotle's philosophy of realism only focuses on the physical objects, or does it also focus on the non-physical objects? Number two, do realists really believe that reality only exists independently in the human mind? Number three, can realism and idealism connect on each other? Number four, what if the ultimate form of an object changed? Can it still be truly understood? Number five, if realism is what one observes is real, then what about the things we don't but it is physically objects?